Hey guys, and welcome back to the shop. So I was recently gifted this old Millermatic 35. Now this is the Millermatic that has the old style gun, the one that they don't make parts for anymore. This particular gun has the trigger mechanism is missing. Now it's a, a solid copper spring that plugs in here it winds around and then using this tab, it actually grounds itself out to the copper tube here. And when you do that, when you ground it out, then it turns the welder on and starts feeding wire. So I actually found this piece on eBay and I'll post the part number here on the video and you can order it. I don't know how many more they'll have in stock, but I was able to order it and it's supposed to be here in a few days. So we're gonna put that in, get that installed, ready to go. And another thing I noticed with this particular welder, looking inside this welder, I do not believe that this piece is factory. I believe this was added on. And so this is a gas solenoid. And I think the original torch actually had the gas trigger inside the torch itself. This is the wire coming from the gun. When you squeeze the trigger, this is what gets grounded out and that actually triggers the solenoid to come on. So somewhere down the line, someone has retrofitted this, which will make gun repair a little easier. Now I was able to find the manual on Miller's website, and this is the correct manual for the serial number of this particular product. So this is where I was able to find the part number for the little spring, spring clip, which is number 259. And then I just searched the internet for a uh, 057557 and it just has switch leaf so it's a leaf switch i got a hit on ebay and it came right up i think it was 12 dollars plus five dollars shipping or whatever so hopefully that gets here like it should and we can get this thing back going again another problem we have with this machine is the contact tipped and gas nozzle now this piece is completely worn out and what i want to do i'm going to make a piece an adapter now this is this is 8 inch NPT threads, and this old style here it just has slits cut in the threads. Just threads up in there like that. And your contact tip threads on the end here as such. So what I want to do is replace this piece with an adapter. The adapter is going to be able to fit this. And then the new style contact tip that's going to thread in the end. And then, of course, the nozzle here. So that way we can use new style Miller parts, which we can get on this old torch. Now, you just can't buy these anywhere. Not that I was able to find. Um, they just don't exist. So let's get to work on that. Okay guys, here's what I've come up with. So this is the original piece with the slits in the side. Even though our new piece will thread onto this, it's not gonna work because those slits are gonna allow your gas to come out through the sides just right into the atmosphere. So what we need is a new piece without those slits, which I've made here. So it's eighth NPT on this side, three eighths 24 on this side, and this will thread on to our new piece, our new gas nozzle. And see how the gas comes out the end there. And that will obviously fit over that. And then our eighth NPT with the relief inside for the liner. So probably I will put some uh, Teflon tape on that just to seal it off. But that threads on there nicely. 
I probably will make another one to try to close up this gap a little bit better just so it'll look better. Here's your contact tip. And this is for 030 wire. Thread that guy in there. Gas nozzle over the top. Conversion complete. So now when we get our spring in, we'll put that in and uh, see if this guy will weld. But while we're waiting on that, right now it has the dryer plug on it, so we're going to convert it to a welder plug. And we'll see if this puppy will fire up. Hey guys, look what came in the mail today. Well, this is the contactor that when you squeeze the trigger, this is what grounds it out. You turn the welder on. back together. Let's fire this puppy up and see if she'll weld. That's a good sign. Fans coming on. Well look at there, it will weld. Needs more heat. The Miller Matic 35 has been brought back to life. Uh, next, I want to replace this cover over this gun hose here, and I will likely, I don't know if I'll need one or not, but a new ground cable. That ground cable is a little splayed on the ends and whatnot, and we'll clean up all this here, make this look nice. And a few screws here and there are loose. We've got a loose screw there. We'll get that tightened up. But uh, yeah, there's even a still just a little bit of gas left in the tank. And the little piece that I use for the gun here, if any of you guys are interested in one, um, this little piece here that goes in between to convert the old style gun to the new Miller parts. And this is the 169715 nozzle here. And then the, you know, the insides, the replaceable contact tips, easily replaceable, and then the gas nozzle inside there. Um, if you guys are interested in this little piece here, I could make some for sale. Just uh, let me know in the comments below. If you're interested all right guys uh, let's get this hose cleaned up and then this video will be done so I had this old zip on liner that came with my TIG welder here looped it all around it zipped it up so that'll protect the cable yeah, actually, it's been a little lighter too, with all that heavy rubber hose now it's gone. So now we just have that light cloth, the corduroy, corduroy cloth. Thanks to my good buddy Greg, they were throwing this away at his workplace. Look at that, I haven't had the exact replacement cable that I need. We're gonna go ahead and get us a proper size piece cut and get it installed.
welding cables. We've got the old ends on it. Put it back on the welder. There you have it, guys. Millermatic 35 brought back to life. If you're interested in the adapter that I've made, just let me know down in the comments below. Um, I can post them for sale on my website or whatever if there's enough interest. Like and subscribe if you got something out of this video. Thanks for watching.